Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hey guys, so it's been a while. It's been like four or five months since I made my last uh, RLR video. Uh, and this is going to be just like an update because finally a lot of things have happened. The last one I made I think was just after the Mexico City Marathon, after I was finally able to return to live races. But since then there, since then, there have been some news. Uh, something important that finally happened was that I got, well I didn't get my money back, but I got the money back in the account to get a new race instead of the ESPN 21K that I was supposed to do two years ago. We're in the end of April, more or less, right now. That race was like mid-May 2020. We're April, April 2022. So I haven't decided. I think there's a... All races are super expensive now. <laughs> uh, I'm really surprised. Uh, but the one that I'm deciding for is like a, a night race in September. You know, um, another, I will let you know, but that's like the least important thing, that race. Uh, another thing is that I got some, a couple of new shoes. I got the Pegasus 38, as you can see, they're really cool. I love the colorway. Uh, now that I'm using them, uh, I don't want to get them dirty, but it's so hard. <laughs> But I love the colorway. I'm gonna try to find a way to clean them. And I bought this like in November and I just started using them this week for the first time. And also I got this like a month or two ago. These are the Rival Flight 3. They are awesome. And they're like the... They're called like Ekiden. And although I love the colorway, I also like it because I know what an Ekiden is. After a few books that I've read, I'm gonna tell you about it uh, also right now. Um, but look, at the, the both, both of these shoes are really cool. Uh, and they're going to be, I'm going to be using them for, you know, my next um, training cycle. That's why I, I, I hadn't used them. I was waiting so I, for, um, for a reason to actually like start actual training. I have been running quite a bit since January. I let go a little bit. It was hard to get back to running. I never really stopped, but I, I, I wasn't feeling like running. I was running uh, very few kilometers, very few times a week. But I started so I let go. I, I actually I stopped training hard with the race and also started eating whatever. Um, but then I went back to the to the naturologist for the first time since before the, the pandemic started. And I was probably the heaviest I've been. Like, not much, but I was in like, well, no, I was not really heavy. I was like 47 kilos, but I was like 18, almost 19% of body fat, <laughs> which was very funny. It's not that much. But it, according to the neurologist, is like right on the edge of like being healthy and not being so healthy. So I started my diet, I started training, I started doing some strength, and after two months, I'm probably right now I'm like again at 14%, which is the ideal. That's for me to start like actually training. Um, and well, what am I training for? So a lot of things have happened. As you can see, and everything happened this week. Uh, since before the pandemic, I wanted to run the Dopey this year because, you know, I wanted to do it again, but also this year is a double anniversary. It's the marathon 30 year anniversary and the Dopey 10 year anniversary. Although it's not, it's actually, it's actually been nine years, but it's the 10th edition of the race. But actually when I ran this 5K, 2013, that was the first Dopey edition. Of course, when I went to Disney, I didn't know about the Dopey yet, but I learned about it and I, I wanted to do it. And that's when I, why, why I went back and, and ran it, as you can see. Also, as you can see, I still don't have all of my medals. 
yeah, I'm missing yeah. all of my 2021 virtual dopey medals and my uh, Disney uh, Summer Series medals. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get them soon. But well, I digress. So as you can see, as you saw, all of that, all of the, uh, all of the registration days for all the main races that I want to do happened in two days this week. On Tuesday it was the dopey registration, and on on Wednesday was the. Uh, they didn't announce anything. I had to like look for it on the web and like media sites had like a communication page that said that the marathon, uh, the Mexico City Marathon registration day was on this Wednesday, but they didn't have anything like on any like official website or on Facebook or anything. And they only said only, they were only talking about the marathon, not the half marathon. But it turns out both, both races uh, opened on Wednesday. And I was ready. <laughs> Although those don't don't sell out fast, they last a few days or weeks more or more. But I was I I, I was ready to to register for both. But what was like a trip was the dopey challenge registration. I think because of the anniversary, but also because you know. This January, this past January, they have the in-person dopey, finally, because last year was the only virtual, this year was virtual and in-person. And I think still a lot of people weren't ready to do it. Uh, I think it's all kind of fast, but not that fast. But they were expecting this 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 time to sell out really, really quickly. Um, and while so many people tried to get in, that the page crashed immediately and nobody could get in at the beginning. So um, they had to like fix it and then they changed the, the registration time from 10 a.m. Eastern Time to 12.30 Eastern Time. But almost everybody had been, you know, on the page since like 30 or 15 minutes before 10 a.m. like me. I was there at 9, 9.45. Eastern time, but like 8.45 from here, from Mexico City. You know, and I opened what, that web uh, website and I was slightly early and that was good because at least I had like the loading thing, but a lot of people got the message that the message, that the page was, had crashed and they had some like, they had the dwarves finally, because it's dopey. They have the, the dwarves working on it. But yeah, so I only had that page for all that time. I didn't refresh it because you weren't supposed to do it for your own good. But a lot of people, they say it crashed because I don't know if like 5,000 people want to do it, but they'll have 10, 15 open pages in different uh, browsers, in different devices, so they crashed it, but I only had one. Um, so when they gave the news that like 10 minutes earlier, at least I saw it like 10 minutes before that time, before 12.30, they said that the registration process would, would begin again at that time. And they gave a special link. They said, if you already have a page open, don't close that one, but here's another link. So I opened, in my same browser, I opened a page with that link. And then a little bit later, I opened one in my phone. Well, the one on my phone, because I waited a little bit longer, never came down. When it was when it's working, you get like a message that says like, okay, you're in queue. It's like five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. So my two web, uh, the three the three windows that I had open said over an hour. And some people got immediately like five minutes and they were able to sign up. But my phone never got under like 54 minutes or something. But my two pages in my computer, they started going down really quick. Instead of an of over an hour, it was like maybe half an hour that I had to wait. And both went almost at the same time. I ended up registering with my original page, so I could have not opened the other ones, I and I would have been fine. 
So I did it, I, reg I registered, I had everything ready in another page to just copy paste all the information. Um, and it wasn't hard for me, but then I saw that a lot of people couldn't register. You know, um, I was really surprised. Not so much because, I don't know, I guess there was like a, obviously there was like a lot of more demand than they could take, but but um, yeah, a lot of people were really pissed. Some, but some went and got a bid from a from a charity, and some just registered yesterday for the for the virtual version. Some maybe got a, a race in person, and then the other race that they wanted to do, they got it virtual, but they're gonna run it anyways at Disney World, like when I did this virtually in December. So that's good, but if you wanted the dopey, yeah, that was not gonna happen, you, you know? Uh, that was not gonna work. So yeah, that was crazy, but I did it. Uh, at times I was really happy to, to register, and at times I wasn't really sure, then I thought it was really dumb, and then I just let, left it, uh, you know, to luck, and I got it. So I'm running dopey on January, and then and I'm running the half marathon in Mexico City, uh, July 31st, and then the marathon, August 28th, and then probably the other race that I told you in September. That's September 17th. I'm not sure about it yet, but probably. Because it's in a different part of the city that I don't want to go because it's very far away. But on the other hand, I've never run there, so it might be, it might be fun. Um, but yeah, that's the most important thing that I wanted to say. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to divide this. Well, if you're seeing this, I don't know if I'm going to divide this video in two. Probably not, because I don't have a lot of edition going on in this video. I'm not gonna edit a lot, just add some, some stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's the main thing. And also, um, well, I started training. Instead of 16 weeks uh, for the marathon, I'm gonna train 19 weeks. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna put some like resting uh, weeks in between where you just go back and do what you did the previous week that is not as hard as what you're doing. So I started this week, um, and hopefully I'm going to have like a full training with full diet, with full strength training, everything together um, to have a strong race. I don't know. I think I'm gonna run them without like. A, a mask or anything on like last year I'm not sure that's that's the idea I want to run them and I, I want to try to uh, do a you know a personal best on both of them even like a real personal best like I want to go under under 339 for the marathon and for the half marathon I I don't really know my time I'm probably gonna give an update later but it's what, like 145 or 143, something like that. Uh, it's my personal best right now. I have to find that out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've learned some new things that I'm gonna apply to my trainings. I've read a, lot, a bunch of books. I've read Running with the Kenyans, Running with the Buffaloes, Running with the Japanese, which is not its name, but it might as well be. <laughs> because it's the same. Um, around those three, I, I, I read those three, I read 80-20 training, 80-20 running. That's a very technical book, kind of boring, but, you know, interesting. Um, I'm about to read a Scott Jurek, who is a trail runner. Uh, his book that's called Eat and Run, where he talks about his training and how he eats, I, I guess. Uh, and probably a couple of more books from here till at least August or if not until January when my other races. And that's it, that's pretty much it. That's it for real <laughs> now. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do some updates. I don't know if it's gonna be once a month or one every two months. Probably, yeah, probably I won't do an update until closer to the races to talk about all my goals, like my actual goals. I'm gonna go back to see how I did and, you know, and do that. Uh, I have my new shoes for my new running 
rotation, shoe rotation. And I'm really, hopefully before August, but if not for the OP, I really want to get one more pair, at least one more pair. And I'm talking about the vapor flies. You know, I'm gonna try to get those. Uh, so I, so I don't have any excuse <laughs> for the running. And let's see how it goes. We're gonna take it one race at a time. The other race that I'm gonna do, the one that I'm still not sure, that's not. That's probably gonna. I'm gonna take uh, take it easy on that one, but not on the other one. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and run. <laughs>